The rapper Trouble just got shot dead at a girl's house. Some girl who went went over there to, you know, get his freak on. And then he got some lead, which is very sad, because I used to listen to him a lot. I used to like him, pretty good, pretty good rapper, pretty talented. Well, what can we learn from this? There's always lessons to be learned. Life is a teacher. The more we live, the more we learn. But some people just are not going to learn. Number one, you do not go over to a girl's house. Doesn't, doesn't matter whether you know her or you're familiar with her or not. Because nowadays with these modern women, you never know how many men they have on the go. And a lot of these men are dysfunctional. Well, I can't even, can't even call them men. A lot of them are raised in single mother mother homes. A lot of them are raised by ratchet club holes. So they're already mentally fucked up. You should make it a priority to ask whichever whoever you're dating or intend to date about her previous relationship and how it ended. Because a lot of the times when you start hearing this woman saying, oh, oh, my boyfriend is locked up in jail. My baby daddy is locked up in jail. He's got multiple baby daddies and they're all gang bang. And... Oh, the oh, my toxic relationship. My relationship has just been toxic, man. I've always been dealing with narcissists. It's just toxic. Every relationship you've been with, have been with toxic people. Nah, she's the problem. Stay away from her. You don't go over to this modern women's house. Let them come over to you. That brings us over to this uh, trouble situation. Man, very very sad. So he went over to this girl's house. Which you shouldn't have in the first place. You're a rapper. You're important to your family. Let her come to you. He went over there. And her toxic ex. Or a boyfriend or whatever. Came over. Busted the door open. While he was giving her the pipe. And just shot him in the chest and killed him. He's dead. He's going to be locked up for life. Or sentenced to death or whatever. But she's going to be out there. Getting piped down. <laughs> she, she gets no repercussions or nothing for her actions. Because he. The ex. Killed trouble. He didn't shoot her. I don't think. Coochie is not worth dying over. Coochie is not worth going to jail for the rest of your life over. We need to get back to self worth. We need to start valuing ourselves. You don't go to the ghetto at any time, night, day, or whatever, in unfamiliar territory, just so you could get some coochie. It's not worth it. Do you know how many people have been killed that way? Because either a girl set them up, or because someone selling the drugs uh, in the corner saw them and they all thought they were like, like the police or something. Because they don't recognize you. Then just go and shot you. And like, yo, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm just here trying to see Keisha or whatever. They're like, nah, 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 nigga. You're not here to see Keisha. Where, where, nigga, where you from, nigga? Where you from? And you get shot, get killed. Over what? Coochie. Why don't you just stay at home and jerk off? At least you'd be alive. 